Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Aaron's Book Club. I have a book review to do, but before I get into my book review, I had these two books read um, long before, at least two days, the last one I read two days before, I was able to do my book review because of one thing. I'll give you a hint. This is the first charger for my phone. I don't know if you guys can see. There are, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? There we go. There are two marks. Pretty aggressive two marks. This here came today. <laughs> so now I can get caught up on my videos, but here's your comparison. This one's a brand new, nice, shiny, clean one. This one, the cat's got out. Um, and it's my own fault. I, I have nobody to blame but myself. I know that I have at least one cat that likes to chew. Um, his name is Munson, so if you guys have watched Kingpin, that will be humorous for you. So they've destroyed my first charger, and that's a hard lesson learned. It wasn't this guy. This is Ishmael. He, he doesn't do anything wrong. So it took me a while to do a book review. Now, now that I've said that, this book review is basically going to be two in one, because the book I have to review today is The Last Two Books in the Queen's Own by Mercedes Lackey. And the book that I have has the three books in the one. I'm going to start off by saying I hate this cover. I hate this cover. It just, they don't seem alive. There's no, there's no life. The, the eyes even look dead for both of them, especially for the way the companions are described. So the two books that I read uh, do, 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 are Arrow's Flight and Arrow's Fall. I'm going to start with Arrow's Flight because... It was a very good book, but it was definitely a bridge book. Um, it was definitely a let's just get to, to the next book kind of book, if you know what I mean. I, I enjoyed it, but I, I almost think as if you could, I don't know, if you, you could put that into the last book maybe, or not make it its own separate book, but I digress. Anyway. The the book itself, I made myself a few little notes. The book itself is much lighter um, at times, but it still had a very dark undertone, a very ominous undertone. Um, there, Throughout this book, there was a very interesting view on sex and friendships, because this is basically the, the part of the book where the Queen's Own is out on her internship, where basically she does these rounds um, and visiting farms and stuff with a friend of hers. Now, not her, her, she doesn't feel love for this friend, but they do have sex. And that's okay. Like, there's no special qualms for that. Um, and that was interesting. And the rest of the, the Herald Society totally accepted that. There was no issue with that, which again, I felt was interesting uh, and fresh, right? I don't, I don't see a lot of that where it's, yeah, we're friends and we're having sex and it's not going to cause any drama because we're friends and we're having sex. It does cause drama when they get back, but it doesn't while they're, like, that is not the main point of the story. In fact, they're more worried about making sure that the, either of them don't fall in love than falling in love, which was interesting. Um, it's interesting how the whole concept of this story was the loss of Talia's power and how it um, paralleled directly with the loss of Talia's confidence and it shows how your self-worth or your sense of self-worth is so incredibly powerful in your own life as it is without you even having the empathetic powers how much your life is controlled and changed and and elevated or destroyed based on your view of your self-worth and how you shouldn't let others change what your view of your self-worth is and it, it's different from being like you can be confident and and know that you are worthy to exist in this world and that you have something valuable to share in this world without being big-headed and think you're better than everybody that was kind of the concept of this story. Um, I enjoyed the book, um, but I definitely, again, felt like it was it was a bridge book. Then the next book I read 
I read Arrows Fall. And I should have known by the title that it was going to be dark. My main concern with Arrows Fall, and I'm going to bring it right up from the beginning, is these are now two of the Herald series books by Mercedes that I've, I've read where both of the times the main character was devastatingly raped um, by multiple people and tortured by multiple people to the point of near death. And the author doesn't doesn't soften the blow of that like you are there and you and it's described and it's a painful difficult hard read and it makes you believe that maybe she will kill this character off too and I was very angry because I thought if you kill this one off I'm not reading any more of these and and again very very hard to read through and the death that does happen even though it's a side character it was still valuable because you felt something for that side character and it broke your heart when he died um the the concept of life bonded and what happens when people don't understand that it's life bonding just the entire book is really really good and i really enjoyed it however the reason that my t to be read for the next month doesn't have the last mercedes lackey book that i own in it is because it was very difficult to read and for those of you who find it hard to read about rape and torture, this is this is not. Don't read this because it lures you. It lures you into a false sense of, well, in the end, this character will be fine. In the end, they'll figure something out. You know, yeah. Throughout the book, you're getting premonitions of something bad happening, but in the end, they'll figure it out because for the last two books, in the end, they figured it out and it was fine. And it wasn't in the end. It was. It was. It wasn't in the end and then juxtaposition to that is when she does finally get home and she does finally heal and she finally has happiness and a marriage and everything else and it just it was all this bad awful gross stuff juxtaposed to now I'm gonna have a really happy good life was I'm undecided how I feel about this book I know I enjoyed it I just how much did I enjoy it but that's what I like in a book. A book that makes you sit down and, and be like, hmm, I don't know. And that's exactly what I did. Is I don't know. I enjoyed it. I, I really did. Hated the cover. I really hope they get better covers. But those of you who haven't read this book that like the young fantasy or young adult fantasy and, and are capable of dealing with rape and different types of sexuality, it's a good book to read. It's a good thinker book to read. But... You are going to have to sit down and, like, I had to, I had to cleanse my palate after this book. I had to read one of my, my, one of my cat textbooks, one of my cat veterinary textbooks before I'm ready to start another book. That's, that's how jarring and difficult this read was, but I very much enjoyed it. So thank you very much. And I will let you know when I have another book read.